Welcome to Countermeasure. This is where we have a closer look of in-game strategy, breaking it down and making it more manageable into those bite-sized chunks. This video is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to watch the full breakdown of Zol vs Fiyu, check out the video description for the links below, or click on the annotation at the end of this video. So you head to the sniper rifle area, pick up the vials, and now you've replenished your ammo. I wish you got that sniper rifle ammo a little bit earlier so you could have had a better fight at the 50. But I feel as if you should utilize this space more when you're out of control. Um, use it to pick more damage on your opponent. Positioning is key. Sometimes you don't have to have a shield belt if you can always hold the position where you always get the first hit in or your opponent has to put himself in a position where you can do some damage to him. Um, a lot of top players will rely more on positioning than necessarily armor controls at some point. Um, I'll go into more description about that in a future lesson perhaps, but I feel as if you can utilize this space a little bit better. Like you have one shot at him here on Tofiayu, but you should have had a couple more maybe because he's still got a lot of distance to actually get into to get into there to fight you properly. And I think you scarper a little bit too early, but you do set up a nice trap here onto the shock rifle because of this though. You're, he's waiting to get the 100 armor, picks it up on 20, and you almost land a beautiful combo there which would have like switched out the control straight away and you'd have actually been in a better position to uh, to contest the next shield belt. But at the moment, my thinking is saying, okay, he's still in control. He's probably gonna get the next shield belt. I wanna get the 50 and I wanna get the 100 and then I wanna hold that top area and pick at him and take away those shield belts again until I, I'm in a position where I can confront him more evenly. Uh, but this sort of mentality doesn't, I don't think really enters into your brain that much. <laughs> that sounds really cocky, and but everybody has a unique style and I guess this was yours. So you take the 50 here, like I said, I would be thinking, you know, that 100 armor is coming up at the same time as the shield belt. So it's coming up exactly 50. Um, and you do a really brave move here. like. You're not badly stacked, but if he just had the first shot in here, it would have been pretty much game over. And the only downside to this, or the upside for it for you, is that you actually ma managed to get the shield belt. But Fiyu does a big mistake because he he was trying to think of how he should position himself for the fight when you jumped down, and he thought that if he goes down into the pit, he's going to take unnecessary damage. But in fact, that's kind of the opposite here because the shield belt had already spawned. He should have initially dived in there and refreshed his shield belt and then just made an escape through the top. And there wouldn't have been much damage that you'd have been able to do to him, I don't think. Um, but instead, he kind of like pushes out thinking, OK, he won't suspect it. And then you launch that rocket, sending him miles away. And that enables you to steal the belt, which is really nice. It's a, it's a great move, but you should be really thinking about playing for time and setting up better positional control rather than thinking I need a shield belt here to save the game. There, there was no need for that at that point. There was no need to risk your entire game for that one moment because if, if you got killed there, he would have had three minutes of complete... Con well, he would have had about a minute and a half of complete control using that shield belt because you'd have just sacrificed yourself and your weapons and all the weapons that have been picked up and maybe you would have got a lucky 100, 100 armor spawn. Maybe you wouldn't, uh, but you could have really done yourself in at that particular point of the game. Now, he's a little bit frustrated here after that scenario, and he just runs at you with the impact hammer. And here's another thing that I was questioning. is like, you've just dived onto him when you have a significant less armor stack uh, with no fear whatsoever. And now you're just like running away from him when he has the impact hammer out. Why? Get in his face at that particular point. You didn't need to run away. That was a free kill waiting to happen. Uh, but still, uh, very interesting play nonetheless. So that was a quick snippet of Countermeasure where we go into a little bit more depth and detail into in-game strategy. And if you want to watch the remaining video, uh, which is about 26 minutes long, you can watch it on my YouTube channel by clicking the video annotation or go into the YouTube description and click the links there. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and do all the socials and stuff. It really helps out. And anyways, guys, see you next time.